So this is what we have after joining the shoulders. We have joined the shoulders on the side. So, so I'm going to sew the one around the front. So you take the long piece. You fold it into two like this and then you iron it you press it down after that you get the middle you get the middle you notch it and then you get the middle of this You notch it. So we are going to stitch it. You can pin it from the middle. Making sure that it matches. Okay, so this is a pattern fabric. So you take note of how the pattern is going to be. So at the end, I'm going to be ending with something like this, okay? So where you want to sew it, sorry, let me trim this. It's going to end like this. So where you want to sew it, you place it on it like this. You place it on it like this. So that when we are through, we are going to flip it to the front and then top stitch. Okay, so this is how we are going to place it on the right side. We are going to sew on the right side, not from the inside, not from the wrong side, and come to the front. No, you place it on the right side okay so after sewing it's going to be like this so you pick this middle part you match it up with the middle like this so after sewing it's going to go up so you want to pin, just pin it, so from here you pin it from one side to the other, you pin it from this side. So I'm going to be sewing with 0 0.25 inch, that is quarter. So you pin it like that till you get to the end. Till you get to the end. Then from this same middle, you also pin to this side. So you also pin to this side. You pin it until you get to the end. So you are going to sew. You sew from one end to the other. And then you can use your interlock machine to interlock here. After sewing, you interlock from one end to the other. The way you are true. You flip it to the front like this, and then you top stitch. You top stitch on it from one end to the other. So when you are through the down, you are just. I'm going to fold it down. 
with just half inch or 0 0.75 inch I use 0 0.75 then just sew I'll just fold it down and stitch from one end to the other for the sleeve you are going to put a little band of 0 0.75 inch so I folded 0 0.25 inch inside you fold it in and then you iron it you also fold this side in then you iron it then after that you want to get the midpoint you mark the midpoint so the midpoint is around here this is the midpoint and then you take your sleeve you open it up like this then you notch the midpoint notch the midpoint so we are going to place this on it place it on it like this so you pin it in place So you repeat same for the other sleeve. After that, you fold it like this. And then you sew with the same allowance that you have, that you have left. If it is 0 0.5 or if it is 1 inch, you sew with the same allowance. After sewing, then you sew in the sleeve. So let me just pin it. So after sewing, you bring it inside out. Like this. And then, from the wrong side, this is the wrong side. So for this armhole area, you fold it in like this. You can use a pin to hold this in place. Okay. You do same for here. You fold it in a little like this. Okay. Then after that, you are going to place the sleeve inside. Place the right side. This side is the wrong side. You place it into the right side like this. So the point, the middle point, you have notch on the sleeve. You match it to the joining at the shoulder. You match it to the joining like this. Make sure that it matches. Use your pin to secure it. And then this seam, here you have the journey here. You make sure that it corresponds with the seam that you have here, the journey here. So you make sure that it matches. It matches like this. You use your pin to secure it. And then you place the sleeve into it very well. You see it, the sleeve matches. You see? So I'll just trim it a little, the cap area. Okay. I'll pin it.
So make sure that this side also matches. You know the armhole has front and back. The armhole was it was too curvy. You know this is a shirt sleeve. So I just trim it a little. So it can fit imperfectly when right So from this joining at the middle, I'll just sew from inside like this. I'll sew, turning this around, sew, sew it around. So that's how I'm going to sew the two sleeve. And once we have done that, our jacket is ready. And we now go to sew the palazzo from the previous class. We cut our patterns for the palazzo. This is the back piece. This is the front piece with a pocket, and then this is the, the flap, the one we're going to be using for the flap. There are two. This is the second one. And then we're going to be using this for the band. We're going to be cutting the band separately on each of the pieces because we are short of fabric to make it long so i'm going to start sewing by sewing the pockets as shown while we are cutting this is going to be inside like this so we place the pocket on the right side so first of all, we're going to notch where the pocket will end. Okay, we notch this point so that you'll be able to flip it inside after sewing. Remember that the length is seven inches. So notch it, then you sew here, you flip it in and top stitch on the line the thread will not show here the top stitch on the line and this inner one we're just going to sew like this our pocket piece is not so big so we'll be using the french seam we'll just sew like this to close it up after which we interlock it so we'll do same for the other pockets and then to get this ready, we're going to iron interfacing. We'll iron interfacing on it. The length is seven inches. This is the second side. Also iron interfacing here. I'll show you how to position the zip. This is the zip we're going to be using. The back piece we're going to sew the darts. Okay, taking note of the same allowance to close us to close up this part, and then from there we use our bust span measurement divided by two, so we use four inches, and then the length will be four inches for the back, and then the front will be five inches. So we we'll sew the dots. You're not sewing the dots. This is the piece for the bands. We we'll just iron interfacing here, and then we fold it. We fold this in. We press it down. We fold this in. We press it down. This is what we have so far. Start sewing the darts. So, like I said earlier, I'm going to be sewing the bands separately. So I will leave like half inch at the side here so that I'll be able to join it to the other band. So just leave five half inch. So we place it like this, leaving half inch here. 
There will also leave some inches here. We'll trim out the excess later. So we'll place it on it like this. Then you just use your pin to secure it in place. So I'll repeat the same for the other one. I will leave some inches here, then trim off the excess. This is the front piece. We have some in the pockets, and then we on the stitch. After that, we press it down. So to complete this, the pocket, just align it, making sure that it lays flat. And then we stitch it. We repeat the same for the other one. I've already sewed it in that on the stitch. So just make sure it lays properly. And then we sew here. This is how the back looks like. We are going to be sewing in. So this place will also tack it down. We are going to be sewing in our zipper. So this is the zip we are using. And I've gone ahead to iron it to facing. You can actually cut this together with the fabric. And then I'm sewing here done. I'm ironing it facing here. So First of all, we just mark where the zip we end. So place the crush area together like this. So the zipper is going to stop on seven inches. So close the same. Allowance that will be seven and a half. So here is seven inches. So you can make it seven and a half. Seven inches is also good. This is seven inches. So I'm going to mark seven inches. So it's going to stop here. So I'll just notch that part. Give it a notch like this. Cut into it a little like this. So we are going to be sewing here later. We are going to close up this part using half inch to sew like this. So we are going to close here up. Then for the zip, this part is going to go into the band. This part. So our zip will start from here. Our this. So this part is going to go in. So we'll start like half inch from here. Like this. Okay. So the zipper will end here. You can just mark that as a guide. And then... We need half inch seam allowance. So to make it easy for you, just go ahead and mark half inch. Just mark half inch. 
until you get to where your notch is half inch so that will serve as a guide then this one is the one we are going to be using here okay so you can also mark half inch here as a guide No, the zipper you have about half inch on both sides so this is the zip we'll turn it like this okay it's like this we'll turn it upside down like this taking note of this part that you have to go in okay so it's going to end here then this one this one is going to be like this at the end. That's it. So we are going to place it like this. Did you see that? So you just stitch it. You just pin it down first. So you are going to sew here carefully because the zip tit is here. So you just sew here. You don't sew along this line. You sew before this line that you have marked as a guide. You can even fill it with your hand. Fill the zip at it with your hand. So you are going to sew here. You sew here to this point. Then when you are through, you flip it in like this you flip it in and then you top stitch you top stitch on this point so that's how we're going to do this and then for this one we'll take this this is going to be like this under okay place it out You place it like this okay it's better to have surplus than it's not enough so two inches is actually okay i just gave a little allowance i can always trim at the excess so the same thing you did mark seven inches yes we have a seven inches yes. remember that i've already given give it a notch Okay, so you notch this one as well. Then you want to mark half inch that I'm going to use to sew. So you can use half inch or you can use quarter. So if it is quarter, you just mark it, you just sew on it. Just sew on it like this. You sew on it. So let me use pin to hold it in place. So when you are true, after stitching like this, you're going to flip it in. You're going to flip it in like this. And then you top stitch here so that it can relax to go to the back like this. Okay. Then you iron it down. So once you are done with that, you are going to place it over this. Remember that we have like half inch here. So this should cover here up to half inch. Should cover up to here. Okay. 
So you need to place it on it like this because it's supposed to cover the zip. So place it on, just mark it like this as a guide, and then we place it on it. So if you like, you can pin here down. Just pin it. So the next thing, you want to flip it to this side. And then turn this away. We are going to just fold this away, and then you are going to stitch on the zip. So, to make it easy for you, you can stitch on it like you just flip it like this, and then sew on the zip. You can always trim up the excess, sew on the zip. So you can mark it so that it will be straight. You can mark what you have so that it will be straight. It's supposed to be on the middle. So just mark it. Use your tip like this. This is one inch. That will serve as a guide. So make sure that the zip is resting on that one inch mark. Okay, make sure it's resting on it. Use your pin to secure it. So before you stitch, just check that it's okay. You try and open the zip. Open the zip. Sorry, there's a pin there. So you open the zip. So you see that it is okay. The zip is okay. This is going to be resting on it like this. Okay. So we we'll just do that now. We'll show you what it looks like, and then show you the next thing. Also, to we are going to be sewing our that. After having the zip in place. Just mark four inch from here. So our uh, dart is going to be here. Mark five inches. This is our dart here. So for this one, measure four inches. So this is it, our dart. Okay. 
so let's do that and then we'll come back to show you what it looks like so this is what we have after added the band to the waist of the back so we have this and this is the front we have stuck here down and also tack here so we are sewing the zip so I first of all place it like this after sewing turn it to this side and top stitch then I use it close this then I mark this after which I place it like this and stitch so this is what we have is slightly overlapping this place so that it can close very well so this is what we have so we are going to be holding here down so before we do that we are going to close this crouch area this crouch area use half inch seam allowance After that, it will be like this. So we are going to place this. Mind you, we are not going to sew on this. We are only going to sew on this. So we need to close up this part. This part, we need to close it up. So to do that, just align it very well. And then we are going to top stitch. Make sure it's stained very well. We are going to top stitch with this. After pinning it in place like this, you flip this away. Just flip it away. So, so this is about. Um, can use one and quarter. So just sew on it like this and curve it to this place. This is what I'm talking about. So here and curve it here. Okay. So when we are done with that, When we are done with that, we will now sew the band. 
I'm going to sew the bands. So to sew the bands, this one will close it up here. We'll close it here and then turn it inside so that it will be like this. It will be like this. So this will be inside. We'll place this inside. Okay. So you arrange it well. Use your pin to secure it in place. And then you sew it. I'm going to trim up the excess. So we'll do the same for here. use this we we'll also close up the space close it up we turn it inside out and then we place this inside it will be like this So stitch the band down. So let's quickly do that, and then we come back to see what is next. So we have closed up the crotch area, and then we have top stitch. We have top stitch here. So this is what our zipper look like. Very neat. So you're going to sew the band down. Just pin the band in place. We'll sew this one here. So we'll come back to show you what it looks like when we are done. So we have sewed the band. There's going to be a button here. So this is the back. We are going to join the sides. Sides together. We'll just go ahead and pin it down. We're going to sew from here to the end. We'll repeat the same for the other side. 
I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. After German side. This is what it looks like. And this is the other side. So you want to press the same open. Talk like this and iron it. So iron it on this side, on the right side. Flip it over and iron it on this, on the right side. So after that, mash them together. Merge them together like this. So we check the waist measurement. The waist and then the hip. Okay. After which we join this crouch area. We join the crouch area. So when we are done with that. Let me just use pin to hold it in place. So after that, you are going to join the needle. You match here, the seam here with the seam here. You match it like this. And then we also match this. Use your pin to hold it in place like this. Do same for the other side. After which we sew from one end to the other end, and of course. We also confirm the length. So when we check the waist, we check the length too. Okay. We check the length too so that we can fold this down part. We can use an iron to iron it so that it will be straight. So you can fold that, you can sew the side first, then and sew the M line last. You take you check your full measurement and then you fold the down, use your iron to straighten it after which you sew. And that will be all for our try. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, and please subscribe to this channel if you're yet to subscribe. I will show you the final look on the mannequin with the kimono jacket and the palazzo. We have done interlock and then we top stitch so that this can lay flat. And then we fold it down with one inch. So it is ready. And then this is our palazzo. We are placing a button. We also put a pair of spot, a button stop here so that it can sit very well. And we have fold the down. So it's ready. So here is the final look of our two piece outfit. The palazzo with a kimono jacket. Mm -hmm.